everyone. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite songs, and that is Wolf slash We Are Dancing. This is a folk song for So Me and La. It's really simple, really cute, and my kiddos love it. I typically use it with second and third grade. I use it really heavily with my third graders, and it has been a huge hit, especially for practicing law. So without further ado, let's talk about Wolf slash We Are Dancing. Yes, it has two names because folk songs. Why not? All right, so first of all, the song. <laughs> this song goes, we are dancing in the forest and the wolf is far away. Who knows what will happen to us if he finds us at our play. Super, super simple, super, super easy. So me and law, which is perfect. I've been using it a lot to work on law. And also just, again, because the kids love it. So that is the song. There is a traditional game. And then there's also a game that we play because I don't always play the traditional games. Now, in the traditional game, what you do is when students in the center, all the other kids make a circle and they walk or dance around while you sing. And at the end, the kids say, wolf, are you there? And the wolf either says something silly or they say, I'm here. And when they say, I'm here, then the kids scatter and the wolf tries to tag them. Now. I don't like this game as much as the one that we ended up doing. I found this during distance learning and so I thought it would be perfect for a freeze dance type game. Because it literally says we are dancing in the forest, I have the kids dance in the forest while they sing and at the end they have to freeze and whoever's the wolf walks around and if they're moving then they get eaten. Now my kids think it's silly when i say that somebody took really great offense one time when i told them when they like read that i tell the kids that they're gonna die if you, you know if if it's not your kids boat then don't worry about it but i do tell them like the wolf is gonna eat you and I'm like now are we really gonna eat people and they're like no and i'm like oh no but you will be out and so we think it's funny and so we do that but alas um we have so that's how we play is like a free dance type game it was a huge hit distance learning huge hit when we were hybrid and i had the kids super spread out and it's a huge hit now even though we're still like kind of trying to socially distance but also we have full classes so that's not really possible so you can do this with the kids in their seats especially if they're a little bit wild or you can have them move around the class i just like it because it's a much calmer game than the chase game although the chase game is fun and we do play some chase games we'll talk about those more in a second so those are two different games that you can play along with this with this song i'd love to introduce law obviously as i've already mentioned and practice law so we use a lot of like bingo chips to figure out the form so we'll sing it a couple of times and i'll have the kids use bingo chips or write on the staff to figure out the form before or after we learn about law so sometimes we do it first and they just figure out the pattern and then sometimes we do it after we've already learned and they know that that's law and we figure it out anyway. I also love to pull this one on the instruments. Something I loved this year was having the kids play things on instruments even before they know the notes. So both with Somi and Somi and Law, even before we learned like this is so and this is me and this is law we were playing them on the xylophones and we would just figure out like okay here are the letters that we're playing and we talk about the shape and i love the xylophones for that because even better than the staff you can see like okay here's one i'm skipping this one i'm using this one and this one and you can just see it a lot better than on the staff so i love that and the kids you know catch on to it really well and it's also just you know a lot of fun so we learned how to play it on the xylophones we did this as a whole class activity although you could also totally do it with small groups and i might do that next time instead but for this we did it with our hands going um, so me and law and after a while then i went over and would play it i would ask them a couple questions so the first time i'd play it i'm like how many bars did i touch and they're like oh three i'm like great i'd play it again and then i'll ask them you know which was the highest one which was the lowest one you know point to the different ends and just a couple of questions to really get them listening and thinking and then i would have them pretend to play along with me and then I had them go to the xylophones. I don't have enough for everyone, so we have to rotate. But whoever was in the front would play. And the first time we would sing it with the letters, so it would be like G, G, A, A, G, G, E, E, or I don't remember what key it is off the top of my head, but whatever it is, we would sing the letters as we played the letters. And then the second time, and then after that, we would do it singing the words instead so that they would kind of, you know, like build up to it. But it worked out really, really well, and it really helps them to understand it and how to play that and all of that kind of stuff. 
Now, a couple of things that you can pair this song with. Number one is Juguemos en un Bosque. Now, this is a little bit of a confusing song. I've seen it notated two different ways. It is in Spanish. The words are almost exactly the same as the English words. And I've seen it notated exactly the same as We Are Dancing. And I've also seen it notated a different way, which is how I learned it, which is how I taught the kids. And that way is Juguemos en el bosque que mientras lobo estás Juguemos en el bosque que mientras lobo estás So I'm not sure if it's just supposed to be a translation of the same song or if they are different songs. If you have any knowledge on the subject, you know, enlighten me down below in the comments. But that's the one I learned and then after I was like looking it up to see something about it and I was like, wait, but I, I'm so confused. So we've been pairing Wolf with that song and with that one, I do the chase game. So we'll sing it and then the kids will say, Wolf, are you there? And you know, we'll do the whole nine yards. Now I will say a little bit of a calmer activity instead of having them in a circle. I like to have the kids on one side, the wolf in the middle and have the opposite wall as the safe zone. That way they're only running, you know, like this much and then they're safe. It's just a little bit calmer and a little bit less stressful than the kids going everywhere, especially if you're inside the room. So that is a little accommodation if you want to be a little calmer. Also, one of the groups asked me if I could be the wolf and that was really helpful because then I can control, you know, making sure no one's like pushing when they're just supposed to tap and stuff like that because if I'm in charge, I can control that a little better. So that was really nice. Um, other things you could do with this, you could totally pair this with Peter and the Wolf. This is actually, I think, how we started it last year. So I started with my second graders last year. We learned Peter and the Wolf and we learned the song, we learned the game. And then I brought it back out at the beginning of this school year with third grade, so it's the same kids but older, to work on law really extensively. And so you can pair it with Peter and the Wolf because obviously they're both wolves and that is like the perfect little pairing there. Um, there's a bajillion things you can do with Peter and the Wolf. We didn't do anything super creative, so I'm, I'm looking to maybe do more creative things this year, so stay tuned. And one more thing, you could totally pair this with the Three Little Pigs. Specifically, Disney used to do these silly symphonies where they would take classical music and they would pair it with cartoons and they would match it all up. And it was like this really big inven invention where they had the cartoons matching the music. So they have one about the Three Little Pigs that I love using my kids because it's it's long enough that you can get, you know, it takes some time, but it's short enough that it doesn't take forever. And you can really see how the music matches up with the cartoon. So that's really fun. There's also a really fun book called The True Story of the Big Bad Wolf, I think. I'll link it down below. It is absolutely hilarious and I would highly recommend it. It's Three Little Pigs, but from the wolf's perspective saying that he was framed and like it's just it's so funny so those are a couple of things that you could do along with the wolf song i would love to know if you've used this what you use it for any fun creative things that you do along with it and yeah if you haven't used it i would highly recommend you go use it because it's like one of my kids favorites we love it we do it all the time and thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time bye